the rate at which your hair is growing slower than the way it breaks or sheds away then this video is for you i'll be sharing tips on how to overcome stagnant hair growth what's up one billion gang is divine and welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time here hi i'm divine i make natural hair and adulting content so i put a poll on sunday that's why i'm making this video in case you chose the option for a video for twa don't worry i'll make the video i'm so sorry I'm going to bring out that video hopefully next week now the first reason why you might have stagnant hair growth is because of your too complex two weeks ago i made a video on different hair influencers and their hair growth secrets two youtubers on the list that have very long hair and have grown out their hair and their mothers they have hair brands their hair care routines are very simple for the past two years i've gotten to understand that hair care and skin care are meant to be simple you don't have to do the most to actually grow your hair you don't have to do the most to actually maintain your hair or your skin now before i talk about complexities and simplicity i want to explain the difference between shedding and breakage because a hair plateau is when you are experiencing more breakage or shedding than your hair growing in this year's hair growth challenge we are only trimming our hair every fourth month of each quarter and that's because of i don't want anybody to experience a hair plateau so if your hair is breaking out of your hair more than how it's actually growing then you might be experiencing stagnant growth or a hair plateau so now let me come back to simplicities and complexities because of your hair care routine is nine steps and you are constantly doing nine step hair care routine every wash day every time you take down your hair or style your hair how do you expect your hair to grow no tell me how do you expect your hair to grow in your mind which i completely understand you are trying to maintain a good hair care routine you are trying to be dedicated but you are doing too much you just need to do the simple routines just like skincare instead of buying all nine steps in the skincare routine you just need a good sunscreen you can go as your moisturizer a good cleanser or a toner a good face oil or serum that's all you need for a good skincare same thing applies to hair care you just need a good hair oil a good moisturizer like your leave-in or cream i need a good cleanser like your shampoo or black soap those are the first three things you need the rest are when your hair needs it for example a deep conditioner if your hair is very dry i don't deep condition every wash day it is recommended to deep condition every wash day if you carry your hair for very long let's say you carry your hair for the last hairstyle you did you had it for like two months or a month and two weeks but if you carried your hair for only two weeks you don't need to deep condition just move on to the next step of styling your hair or braiding your hair or protective styling low manipulation you don't need to do too much to actually grow your hair emotional damn it oh my wow you are doing so much that might be what is stopping your hair from growing if you research for the longest afro hair guinness world record check their hair care routine it's as simple as just using shea butter and a good cleanser that is how hair care is not meant to be so difficult i guess because of we're trying to like find solution we make it over complicated <laughs> are you styling your hair every day are you combing your hair every day are you making everything complicated you don't have it has to be so simple that is how to grow your hair so another reason why your hair is not growing or it looks like your hair is not growing is because of you are using too much heat wait 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 before you start complaining that you already know this look at yourself be honest with yourself you always blow out your hair what every time you want to style your hair every time your hairdresser wants to make your hair you always blow out your hair if you don't blow out your hair you flat iron your hair how many times do you flat iron your hair in a year that one there was a violation personally i wouldn't have it okay let's say you don't do either of the two you are dyeing your hair on a consistent basis like <laughs> you dyed your hair this month next month you dyed your hair and bleached your hair you are constantly putting heat in your hair artificial heat in your hair let us say your hair is relaxed how many times in the year do you relax your hair you relaxed your hair last two weeks and now you want to relax your hair again how do you expect your hair to grow constantly putting artificial heat what i want you to do now is to set in your calendar or in your journal set from this is the second week in me for the next three to six months i don't want you to use heat on your hair i want you to make the commitment for the next three to six months what you should do instead is to stretch out your hair with natural 
ways of using heat and in this video i mentioned 10 ways you can stretch out your hair without using heat if you keep on stretching your hair every time with heat and you see you're you deep conditioning i i maintain a good natural hair care routine because i receive this comment a lot that uh, I, if i maintain a good natural hair routine and still my hair is not growing it's probably because of you're using heat every time using heat on your scalp your scalp is reacting and what is a reaction it is from an action or you get a reaction so the action on the heat on your hair is giving you the reaction of a hair plateau of scalp damage and in the long run your hair might not grow in that area because of you are weakening the follicles if you made this part of this video please comment either breakage or shedding or both if that is what you are experiencing i want to know in the comment section so maybe i could make a dedicated video to each of those but i think i have a video about breakage so let me know understand the difference before comments try to understand so that we can know the genesis of your problem now this tip i'm going to emphasize more on shedding when it comes to your body which is where your hair grows from because hair is just a byproduct of the organ which is skin and by now if you have been watching or if you have been subscribed to my channel you know that hormones affect a lot when it comes to your body now for me i'm experiencing a hair plateau because of lately i've been stressing a lot like a lot has been happening in my life i've been doing a lot if i'm not doing a lot i am thinking a lot and stress is a huge factor when it comes to hair growth that people don't take into consideration apart from genetics stress is a very very huge factor and apart from stress hormones in your body dropping or increasing can also affect your hair growth hormones like estrogen when it increases go help your hair growth once it drops it will cause hair loss and shedding that's why you see that pregnant women after birth they might have postpartum hair loss and other factors that have to do with hormones so i want you to take your body into consideration that's why this month's hair growth challenge has to do with diet take your body into consideration take your health into consideration from fitness to how you eat to how you sleep all those things can affect your hormones that already by now because it's simple things and i'm always saying this thing i think i said it in my live stream the truth is that most of the things that we pay for that are preventable can be avoided by just doing the simple basic things people are paying for serious hair growth transplants when they could have avoided things that they did to their hair or their scalp like they could be avoided at the early stages so they don't come for us in the future and for me i am guilty i am guilty of less sleep i am guilty of stressing like like i'm, I'm walking around it i'm trying to walk around it but i'll see my research on how to manage my stress levels but remember focus on your body don't forget to comment breakage shedding or both another reason why your hair might not be growing is because of you are experiencing either a protein overload or a moisture overload i just want you to understand that when your body or your hair or your scalp reacts to an action it produces a reaction so if there's too much protein from the protein treatments you are using on your scalp then it will lead to protein overload which will in turn make your hair dry and break away the opposite it could lead to moisture overload if your hair is too moisturized shy for people that have high porosity hair your pores are highly porous if your hair is too moisturized it can make the strand weaker also and cause the hair shaft or hair to break away so when you are using moisture always try to balance out your moisture with oil and for protein treatments make sure that you are keeping intervals when you are using them don't use them let's say you use your protein treatment like i said i talked about complexity and simplicity let's say you use your protein treatment last wash day you could skip it for the next wash day make sure you are intervals so that you don't have protein overload also you could try replacing let's say this wash day you did a protein treatment next wash day when you skip doing a protein treatment focus on eating protein into your body instead of using the protein treatment on your hair the next wash day so try to keep intervals so that what you already have on your hair can work for you till another time so now that you understand the difference between breakage and shedding i want you to also understand the difference between low manipulation and abandonment this is another category of people what do i do go, just go. What? they think that they are doing themselves the best because of they've not washed their hair for six months i'm not coming at you to judge you 
Ooh. honestly i am not i'm just telling you the reason why you might be experiencing a hair plateau it's because of you are abandoning your hair all right let's say you decide to keep twist or braids in your hair for the next six months if you are not maintaining the twist or braids for the next six months even though you are not uninstalling them if you are not maintaining it if you don't have a hair regimen for the twist or braids by the time you are taking them down you are rather going to have not just shedding but a lot of breakage because of you are not maintaining your twist or braids so that is the difference between low manipulation and abandonment it's wanting to decide that oh I'm not going to style my hair with a lot of manipulative hairstyles or manipulative accessories. And the other thing to say, I'm just going to leave my hair like that. Of course, it's good to let your hair rest. The another thing to just leave your hair without caring for it, that's when your scalp begins to react and you start having scalp issues. I realize that it's very important to care for your scalp or your skin, just as your body. Because that is where hair is growing from. I'm always saying this in my videos. People can try to sell you products. People can try to tell you this is this. But it's not the scalp you are going to ap apply the products to. Why are you going to apply the products? It's not on the scalp. Bruh. And it's not the same scalp that the hair is going to go from. You are not maintaining scalp care. You just want to abandon your hair. You are not maintaining good hair care. Because of the said low manipulation. Let's say before you've tried it out and tested that your hair without, wash without washing for three months. So you decide to grow the extra mile and keep your hair for six months. My dear, please stop it. Stop, stop it. it. Get, get some now. help i completely understand that it's not everybody that has the opportunity to care for their hair every month or every week because of they might be busy and their schedule and everything that comes with it i completely understand and that's why in this video i talked about how to start maintaining your hair if you are very busy or you are very lazy we either fall into the two categories i don't think anybody can be on the fence if you don't have time to care for your hair is that yeah very busy or you are very lazy i want to give a big shout out to billy c benya 3298 thank you so much for being the first person to comment on my last video thank you everybody for commenting kitchen i see you guys thank you thank you so much i really appreciate it don't forget to comment breakage or shedding let me round off the highest if you haven't already make sure you check out this video where i explained how to reduce breakage there is something called the exogen phase where your hair sheds away also don't forget to like the video physically and not just emotionally and since you're still here i have another tip for you that is time and hair growth now there are different factors that influence hair growth one of the major factors is genetics i want you to understand that not only genetics can help you grow your hair other factors like routines or regimens your diet your exercise fitness your age your environment and stress or your hormones so when i started my natural hair i had a time frame set in mind so about three weeks ago i dropped a video where, where my male friends did my voiceover and that video mo said something it was like if you want to keep your natural hair and you're watching my channel you should definitely have a goal and why you are doing this you might not figure out why you are growing out your hair but i hope that you are subscribed the more you watch videos the more you get inspired and you have a clearer picture of why you are doing this so you learn to love yourself you learn to love not just your hair but yourself but for me when i started my hair i had a clear picture of how i wanted to grow my hair to waist length in four to five years and it actually happened and one important thing i want to note is that during that time period especially my third year it is far easier to notice growth in shorter hair so my first year i noticed a lot of growth like three months six months nine months it was very very easy to spot the difference between my hair length but you see when i got to my third year the second year and a half it started becoming difficult to notice that my hair is growing so third year i was not so focused on my hair and that's a big mistake i see people make it and i made that mistake my second year i was constantly scrolling on youtube for how to grow my hair overnight what i can put on my hair to grow my hair overnight and guess what most of the times when i watch these videos i was not essentially doing what i was watching i was, I was just like watching workout videos and not working out i don't want it to be like that when i'm sharing tips on this channel i actually want you to try to put them into action take what you can and try to put them into action whatever works for you keep them
whatever doesn't you can discard them so now you might be thinking in your head so what am i saying in this point what i'm saying in this point is to set a time frame for your hair growth you know in this video when i was talking about the hair influencers particularly whitney white and toriana towns or indigenous strands i noticed that they said keeping both of them said keeping their hair in around 2009 and in 2009 i was eight years old 2009 i was eight years old now both of them have very long hair but i could i started my hair in 20 at the end of 2016 and if you don't understand yourself and keep on comparing yourself to what you're seeing on social media somebody who doesn't have long hair for example you and you're seeing me i think that if i told you to mix a portion of your hair as a product your hair will grow to be like mine in one year it doesn't work that way my hair is turning eight years in August. And I was talking about Toriana and Whitney White. I want to notice they've been keeping their hair for a very long time. I said my hair in 2016. See the difference in the age gap, the time frame. When I saw their hair. I wanted to have something like their hair. But at that time, I did not know the time they had put in to grow out their hair. Don't see somebody's 200 level. And think that that should be your first level. Everybody starts from somewhere. Just make sure you start. Take what you can from what I give in this video. Discard what you don't need. And I can't wait to see your hair grow. So remember, your hair might actually be growing, but you are comparing yourself to people who are not on your level. Comparison is the thief and killer of joy. Focus on yourself. In short, I want you to stop focusing on your hair growth and focusing on the time. <laughs>